Hey guys, I'm the Cuber Cubed, and welcome to the second week of the Tuesday Talk podcast. This week, I am with the one and only. I'm not that special. Uh, I'm Landon. Uh, I'm also known as LT Cuber on YouTube. Cool. So uh, we're going to be talking about a couple different things that uh, you guys have suggested to us in the comments of last week's Tuesday Talk podcast. Before we get into this, uh, if you haven't seen his channel, uh, which uh, is unheard of. <laughs> um, uh, he is a really, really, really good YouTuber. Uh, good quality. Just, you know, and you should subscribe to him if you haven't. So Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the first thing we want to talk about is from Cubing Master. He says, the cubicle square one plus... So yeah, the cubicle square one has had a lot of hype and a lot of questions. And I've... I've heard that they've done all the mods for you, which is actually really, really cool. Um, I think they have. Yeah, I, I, think, I heard that. I think that. They, did, they did a couple mods. I'll pull up the webpage right now. Yeah, but, I am um, too. I'm pretty sure that they did mods. So, it is $24, um, and that's, you know, a lot of people say that that's like, oh my word, that's so expensive, um, but it's actually not, because if you look at no. their premium 3x3s, it's like the exact same price. Um, they're doing a lot of work for you. Like and, they're doing a bunch of stuff that you don't have to do, and they're spending their time. Yeah. On not only cube. is it like the same price as premium three by threes, but they also did the mods for you, which I yeah. uh, that I hear of. Um, so that's like really cool. Um, yeah. On their website, it says uh, we glued down certain pieces in the core, which is the low mod, giving the cube a more stable feel. Swap the original springs with the sink shaft springs. So like they take this thing completely apart for you. They re-sticker it for you. Give you your own they shades. Do a, they do a mod for you. They give you your shades and they place the stickers really well. And I hear the lubing They're... job is amazing. Yeah, I know. I'm actually getting a shank shaft square one really soon. Oh sweet. Uh, but. Um, I will probably pick up a Chi eventually once I get more into it. Yeah. Actually, Sean and I, Sean and I are trying, uh, making a trade. I'm oh, giving cool. him my Waypo because I don't like it. But yeah. Um, staying on topic, of course. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll probably get a, a, cubi a cubicle square one maybe eventually. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was the YJ Yuhu R Megaminx. Um, yeah. I, I, surprisingly, I haven't heard much about this Megaminx. Um, I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, it it's... Obviously, it's a um, it's a better Yuhu. Um, so they fixed the problem with the uh, um, bent screws or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, is there some design changes? Do you think, or is it just kind of fixing that? Uh, the the Yuhu are uh, the uh, what I've noticed from the pictures that the cubicle has is that the corners um, they don't have the big freaking thing that holds it in it's smaller now and there's a bit of a uh a different stock uh it, it looks like it's just mechanism improvements and they probably fixed the bent screw thing but it doesn't look much different yeah it kind of just looks uh like yeah it just kind of looks like a improvement to the yuhu so if you unless yeah, unless I mean, it has extraordinary reviews and kind of revolutionary megaminx i wouldn't say if you had a yuhu or even a modded shang Shao that you enjoy um you wouldn't really need this but it looks like the uh it looks like kind of how the original what it what it looks like to me is that the original yuhu is kind of like a, a guanlong uh, you know a real simple mechanism like the guanlong yeah. it's just really really simple and blocky mm -hmm. um and then the mechanism of the yuhu r looks very similar to an outlong version 2 uh or a waylong gts even yeah that's true are you looking at the picture mm -hmm. right now yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of see in the bottom left. Yeah. Uh, that photo. That's where I'm seeing that. Um, that's just something I noticed. So yeah, stay tuned for that on uh, not only my channel but Landon's. Maybe that's a maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't speed solve Mega Minx. I just kind of casually solve it. it. Takes me a, a few minutes, but I don't like speed solve it. Yeah, I kind of speed solve it. Um, I try to get the best time as I can, but I am trash. So I am not. It's hard to explain, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking at the, the Yuhu R's mechanism and like, yeah, that just seems like a, a more of a refinement thing. It's not, it doesn't have a completely new Mac, I don't think at all. Yeah. Um, and uh, <clears throat> another thing that um, is kind of small, but could be really good is the uh, Shangshao Aurora 5x5. We haven't really oh, yeah. heard much about that, um, but 
it it seems pretty good. Um, it looks thirteen dollars during the July Fourth yeah. sale. Even though by the time this comes out, it'll be over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, we're act yeah we're recording this on the Saturday before. Yes, so. we are. So um, yeah, yay for look ahead not only on cubes but in videos. Right, Woo-hoo. and um. It's sixteen dollars. I don't know how it is. Maybe I should get one. I don't know. Yeah. Um. It it says <laughs> right here one. that um, it has design improvements over the original Shang Shangshao five by five in wind. So it's it says it has a more modern feel, which is you know nice because Shangshao kind of really needs to step up, step up its game if it really wants to compete with the top companies like. Uh, Yushin or Moyu, because those are just kind of dominating the market right now, and Shangsha has kind of lost its throne. I would say so too. Yeah. So um, it's lost. It's it has lost its place. I mean, big cube wise, not only is Moyu doing some damage to Shangsha, but I think Yushin is doing just as much. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because they just push up. They just pushed out their new six by six recently. And uh, as far as I've heard, the uh, the Shangshao's not good. The Aoshi wasn't that great. But as far as I've heard, the Yushin Blue or Yushin Red, sorry, is good. Yeah. Another thing is that there's a new Pyraminx, the Z Pyraminx. Um, it says the Z Pyraminx is the second generation Pyraminx released from Z. So definitely Z is a smaller company because we have yeah we haven't heard much from them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it says the sturdy and snappy feel that resembles the feel of the Shang Shabo with Florian holes that allow for greater corner cutting freedom, as well as a design that allows for stickerless variants. Yeah, uh, I'm. Uh, I think like, people will really like the stickerless um because that's kind of getting into a trend nowadays because people don't like sticker being... people don't like stickering that's just a fact um i mean i i do sticker my cubes like i resticker most of my cubes that i get if they're not stickerless um yeah but yeah but who knows um this might totally dominate this might be a contender against the moyu or chi but most likely if we haven't heard of z yet uh most likely won't we won't hear much about it unless it's a total yeah. bomb mhm well we're either going to hear, hey, this is just the same as the Moyu, Chi, Yi, Diane, yeah, Shang yeah, Shao. Yeah. Or we're going to hear, oh, this thing's a piece of crap. Never buy it. Take it off the cubicle, please. You know, just like this thing is an abomination to the cubing community. 2016 Pure makes it, you know, like I thought the Diane was bad. Who knows? Maybe this will be worse. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But aside from the uh, small, petty, little, new puzzles of you know, 5 by 5s and Pyraminxes, the main thing that we want to talk about is the Yushin 5 by 5 spring set. I mean, like, okay, let's talk about the Yushin, Yushin Red 6 by 6 for a second. So, it, it, it did not get very good reviews or first impressions from Cubers, but um, I'm not actually sure who the, um, the first person to do this was, but... Uh, People said that if you put the Yushin 5x5 springs in the 6x6, uh, it will make it so much better because the 6x6 springs were way too um, way too uh, hard. So uh, the cubicle has actually put this on their site, probably from all the springs that they bought from the spare parts section on the cubicle. So... You know that's that's a really really good move for the cubicle because that was smart. Um, they're the only store, to my recollection, that is actually doing this. So, you know that's really good for them, and it's really good Props for to us. Them. That's because useful. Yeah, it's good for we us. We don't have to destroy our Yushin five by fives now. Yay! It'll be so much easier. Just spend a dollar more, and it'll be well worth it. Oh yeah, definitely. So, uh, but, so back to the comments. I'm gonna start something. Okay, if that's okay. okay. Uh, back to the comments section. M A Q beer with a K. Uh, the Kung Fu three x three is a rebranded New Island Lightning V two. I can confirm, um, that this is true. I did get one of these the other day. The Kung Fu three x three. Yep, he has a video. Really? Go check it out. I do have a video. Uh, actually, it'll be linked in the description. It will. If that's yes, okay it with will. You. Okay, cool. Um. Anyway, like, it's it's really nothing special, and it's got to be, like, the first cube released in a long time that pops. Oh, wow. I did not hear Straight that. Straight up pops. I know. You haven't heard that in a while, have you? No, I haven't. Um, <laughs> uh, I actually... Uh, so, on the cubicle, 
you know, when I got it on Monday, uh, the 27th of June, um, it said, you know, I got it a few hours ago out of the box. Tensions were no more near even. The spray noise was horrible. You even know that because I was on the phone with you yep. that day. And, uh-huh. Oh, my God. It was awful. Wasn't smooth or the same speed on most sides. Did an average of 12. I took it apart, lubed the core with weight 4, pieces with Mar- weight 2 and Maru. Uh, the cube got better. It really did get better. Um, it was really smooth. But it just... I thought it was cool, and then I really started to do a long solving session with it, and it just it just is not that great. It's it, like it pops and locks up a lot, and so I just thought like, yeah, this is probably one of the first cubes in a while that has drastically stepped down from you know the squared off corners and actually started popping so this is not really good for the kung fu brand because out of the box almost every single video i watched said that it's great it's smooth it's you know fast but you know if you can't control that fastness it's just gonna lock up and if you lock up too much then it's gonna pop and you know you just don't want corner twists and And i mean it's it's insanely fast yeah, I bet it would be it would be amazing if it just did not pop or lock up, um, but who knows? This might be kind of a test for kung fu, and they might come back with a bigger punch and have Maybe an so. amazing three by three. This might be a learning experience for them, but all we can do is just stay tuned for that and just kind of, you know, look forward to that and hope that it's great. Because as consumers, we don't have to buy every three by three. You know, that's what YouTube is for. You know, we can watch <laughs> unboxing reviews um, and see, oh, wow, this is actually good. So um, I kind of want to go off track for a second. Um, go for it. Uh, okay. Moyu 3 by 3s All right. I know you've made a video about this, and I want to talk I, I want to talk to you about it. Um, I, I agree 100% um, on some things. In some things, I agree 70%. Um, But overall, I'm basically with you. Now, I do totally agree that um, Moyu should start making and focusing on bigger cubes. You know, they don't, uh, um, you know, they only have the Aoshi. If they were to compete with the Yushin Red 6x6, that would be amazing. You know, a budget Aoshi. Yeah, they need something more, though. Um, Yeah. So, if they were to get, you know, the square one, uh, I hear they're making a square one and a clock, I think. So... You know, that's great for them, but I don't think that they should stop 3x3s altogether because, like I said just a couple minutes ago, we are the consumers, so we do not have to feel like we have to buy those 3x3s um, because they're basically the same in performance. It's just all about the feel nowadays. Um, So if you hear, oh, wow, this is sandy and fast, oh, I like that, so I'm going to get it, that's great. Because, you know, not many cubes, I don't think, have that kind of feel other than the Guoguan Yuxiao. So, as the consumers, you don't really have to buy that. But, you know, if that sparks your interest, then buy it. But I d- definitely agree that they need... It's one of those things, you know... Oh, finish what you're saying. I'm uh, sorry. I, you agree that... I just definitely agree that they should uh, maybe, instead of like one one cube a month or one cube every two months or something kind of cut that time in half and like put one out every four months or two months or whatever um and just kind of compete with you know the the four by fours um the five by fives uh not necessarily just the five by fives because you know they have the bo chuang and that's amazing but oh um, my god yeah i know i try i tried a bo chuang gt recently and it was just ridiculous and I, I definitely think they should make a budget um, a budget Aoshi and a budget Aofu. That's obviously not For what sure. it's going to call it. But, um, <laughs> you know, if they can just do that, that will absolutely bomb on uh, every cube store because everybody wants a 7x7 for cheap with the best performance. And same thing with the 6x6 because you're either going to go with 7x7, by, uh, with seven by seven, you're either going to go with the cheap route and get a Sheng Shao and bank on the fact that you're not going to get into 7x7 seven seven, or you're going to have to spend more money or you're going to get an Aofu and put $50 down on an event that you might not like. So if yeah. they just make a budget 6x6 six six and 7x7, seven seven, that will be traumatic to the the cuban community and i think that will just bomb but overall they shouldn't stop making three by threes because that is 
you know, what what does a beginner cuber do? Three by three. Um, you know, a beginner cuber doesn't start off with anything other than three by three. So that should be their main focus. But I think they're just taking that main focus a little bit too far right now. One of the things that my grandfather told my dad once, um, you know, exactly what it was. I'm not. <laughs> this is basically what I think he said. Um, he said that there are some things in this world that you don't need. You just want. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a, a needs versus wants. Like, uh, do you need every new MoU 3x3 that's released to the market? Or is it just a want? Do you just want to have it as a collector's item? Yeah. Um, and so usually, like, unless I hear something that's directly different, uh, drastically different, I'm not probably going to get MoU 3x3s because at this point there's so many. I think there's a feel for every cuber. That's just that was just my whole reason behind the video I did, uh, because I it's it's just a want a need or a want basis. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's like I said earlier. That's what YouTube is all about. Um, with the cubing community, is that before you want to before you buy a cube, watch it. You know, watch a video about it. If you like it, then buy it. Um, but you know, you might always want the new three by threes and stay maybe that's stay your thing. up with the up and that might be your thing but um most people for most people i would just give this advice you don't need the next three by three if your main is just just you know just how you want it or you know however you would like it then i wouldn't buy it until like you hear something truly incredible about it yeah definitely so we are going to um wait so, yeah, I totally agree with you on that. So, I think we're going to wrap up this podcast. Thank you to uh, Landon or LT Cuber for joining this with me. I had a blast course, recording man. this with yeah, you. Yeah, no problem. And, no problem. Um, make sure to tell us two things in the comments. Tell us um, things we should talk about in the next podcast and who I should have on the next podcast. That is very crucial. Um, and it's all up to you. So, whoever's name is said the most. That's going to impact a lot more than just kind of throwing that out there without, you know, telling me why. Tell me why you want this certain person. Please tell me who you want in the next uh, podcast and what you want me to talk about. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button with your 4x4. And I'll see you in the next one. See y'all.